So the Taylor polynomial, since now that we've got all of this written down, the way that we construct it is like this. First, um, this number over here, this is the coefficient. So let's go ahead and write 1, and then a parenthesis, and then we do x, because that's our variable, minus, and um, whatever we're given for a, which is 1. So x minus 1, and then we raise that to whatever number is over here, in this case the zero power. And then we just write a plus sign and go on to the next term. So this is the whole, um, this is the thing you have to memorize. And um, this coefficient here comes from um, the fourth column, the one comes from a, and zero comes from the first column k. So as you can imagine, the second, um, the second term will be uh, negative one here, the coefficient, times x minus 1, again, because it's a, to the first power, okay? Then plus, again, um, 0 for the coefficient times x minus 1 to the second power, plus the coefficient 1 times um, x minus 1 to the third power. And that is our Taylor polynomial. Um, all we have to do now is simplify it. So now that we have that written down, we can get rid of all of this stuff. Let's go ahead and simplify. So anything raised to the zero power is one. It doesn't matter if it's x to the one or x to the zero, e to the zero, um, pi over two, x to the zero, anything raised to the zero power is just one. So this is one times this whole thing, which ends up being 1. So the first term is just 1. And then you can see we have plus a negative, so that's just going to be minus. Um, since this is to the first power, we that 1 is um, a given. It's redundant, so we can just get rid of it. So we have minus uh, x minus 1. And then um, plus, since we have a 0 out in front here, this whole term is going to cancel. Um, because that zero cancels the whole term, it's just going to go away, so we can skip that one. And then the third term here, this one we can get rid of because, again, it's, it's implied, it's redundant, we don't need it. So we just have x minus 1 to the third. So you can either leave your answer like this, and that would be perfectly um, correct and acceptable. If you wanted to, um, you could simplify this slightly. Um, you wouldn't really want to break that apart, but let's go ahead and um, kind of rewrite this up here so we have a little bit more room. Um, 1 minus x minus 1 plus x minus 1 cubed. Okay, so like I said, that could be your final answer. If you'd like, you can simplify this. You can see we'd have 1 minus x, and then we have a minus negative, so that would be a plus 1 plus x minus 1 cubed, um, and then you'd have 1 plus 1 is 2, minus x plus x minus 1 to the third. So you could simplify your answer in that way if you'd like to, but you really don't have to because this is actually the, the most correct form of the Taylor polynomial. This is how you come out with it. Each um, term is represented based on our table, um, but you could simplify it. And in this case, um, the question actually asked us to expand and collect all of our terms to verify that this is the same as um, our original uh, function. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Um, we already started with this 2 minus x here that we simplified. Um, let's just go ahead and um, write this out and we will do the algebra here really quickly and make sure that we're correct. So we have 2 minus x plus, let's just do the first two here. Um, x times x is x squared. Uh, we have minus x minus another x is going to be minus 2x. Um, negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. And we actually have to do this so that we can multiply it again by x minus 1. So we have 2 minus x uh, plus um, x squared times x is x cubed x squared times negative 1 is minus x squared. Negative 2x times x is minus 2x squared. 
negative 2x times negative 1 is plus 2x. 1 times x is plus x. And then 1 times negative 1 is minus 1. And so now, let's see, we can just simplify this. We've got, um, let's, let's just do this. Oh, I forgot a close parenthesis there. Um, let's just do this in order. x cubed here is our only cubed term, so you always want to write um, the highest powers first, lowest powers last, like they have up here, x cubed squared to the first power, no x at all. So x cubed, got that. Now we've got negative x squared minus 2x squared is a negative uh, 3x squared. Um, we have a negative x plus a 2x is, a, is plus 1x, plus another x is plus 2x. That gets rid of that one, that one, and that one. And then we have 2 minus 1, which is just 1, so we have plus 1. So as you can see, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 is uh, what we get when we expand and collect all of our terms. And in this case, that's exactly what we want. Because remember, like we said in the beginning, um, the point of, of a Taylor polynomial is not to um, change exactly what's in the function, but just change its form so that we can, um, you know, if this had been more difficult to integrate, we could have taken this, um, plugged it into an integral, and maybe this would be easier. So it gives us an alternate way of, of looking at um, this approximation here. So anyway, um, you could have left your final answer as this, you could have simplified it to here, and you can go through all of the algebraic steps of expanding and collecting terms to uh, make sure that you did it correctly if you want. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.